Hey guys, so this is video two on how to get your Raspberry Pi to send you a text message. So the first thing you're gonna to wanna to do is open up a browser and go to Twilio.com. I'm not affiliated with these guys, but they provide the service that we need. Uh, they provide a few services. One of them is being able to get computers to send text messages. So one way that you could send a text message is you get something that you plug into the Pi and you uh, sign up with your service provider and you get uh, like a connection that way or you can go for a what's likely to be much less expensive route where you use these guys. And uh, you're gonna have to sign up uh, for an account with them. I'm already logged in here, so if I just click on console. So you're gonna have to sign up for an account. And uh, when you sign up for an account, they are going to require a phone number uh, that they can send messages to and verify. So this should be your phone number when you sign up for that. And then once you uh, create your account, you're gonna have a console that kind of looks like this. And uh, some important notes that you're gonna need here is your account SID, your auth token. So this is, these are both private values here. You're also gonna have to create a phone number. So here I have, uh, if I go to the phone number section, we have a phone number 226-894-0231. That's my phone number that uh, is used for sending messages. So that's my number. Um, and it would send it to my personal phone from there. So you're gonna need that detail as well. So once you've signed up for an account, Great. You're gonna then gonna want to uh, log into your Raspberry Pi. So you can do this locally, or you can SSH in, which is what I'm about to do here. So it's SSH Pi at Raspberry Pi dot local, and my password is Raspberry, and that logs you in. The next thing you're gonna want to do is install the Twilio library. So use the command sudo pip3 install Twilio. And this will download the packages that you need to be able to, uh, you know, the libraries that you need to be able to use uh, their services. I've already done that, so that's pretty quick. I'm then going to navigate to desktop and then to the greeter folder that I created in the previous tutorial that has this file here, check ip.py. So now we're going to write a Python script that allows us to send a text message to our phone from the uh, phone number that they gave us. So I'm going to use the program vim as my text editor here and I'm going to create a file called sendText.py. And in this file, I'm going to from twilio.rest import capital C client. And then we're going to have to punch in our account SID. And this is what I showed in the, uh, on, the, on the web browser here. It's this value here, and this is gonna be unique to you, so don't use mine. And uh, I'm just going to copy and paste that in. And then we're also going to need our auth token. And again, this is a private value, so you could use mine or you could use your own. So you have to click to view here. This shows our auth token, which I'm going to copy. And then I'm going to paste it here in our program. Then we're going to uh, create a client here, and that is going to be capital C client, account SID, comma, auth token. Once that's done, we can send a message by typing in message equals client.api.account.messages.create, open bracket, and then we're gonna to have to populate it with a two, so this is who are we sending it to, and this is my personal cell phone number, which I'm blocking out here so you guys don't uh, start texting me, and then we're gonna need a from underscore and this is the phone number that they gave us that you can choose. And in my case, it's 226-894-0231, comma. And then we're going to need our body. Uh, that is the body of our message. And this is my message that I am sending to my phone. Yay. And then we close that bracket off. That's all we need to do. Again, to get out of Vim, you hit escape and then colon W to write, and then colon Q to quit. And now we have this file called sendText.py. So then to be able to execute the script, we just type in Python3 sendText.py, and that will launch the uh, program, which will take a moment. And then once it's done, we take our phone and receive a text message on it. So now if I take a look at that, we see sent from your Twilio trial account. This is my message that I'm sending from my phone. 
And it's, uh, so there you have it. So one of the uh, caveats of using the free trial account is that your body will change like this and you'll get this kind of like dummy statement that says that you know it's from a trial account. But if you start paying for the service, you don't have to worry about that anymore. So there you have it, how to be able to get your Raspberry Pi to send you a text message on your phone. I hope you enjoyed this one. For more tutorials like this, visit thezanshow.com.